Hey guys, Stuart from Samway Life here, and in this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of a review on a dog blower that we bought to help us groom these two boys a little bit more quickly. Up until this point, we've been using a hairdryer to dry them out after we groom them at home, which is working okay, but we kind of wanted to uh, take it up a notch and make it a little bit faster and easier for ourselves uh, by using a dog blower. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the dog blower that we bought, how we got these boys used to actually using it because it's quite different from a hairdryer and just the overall experience so that you can see if a dog blower might be appropriate for you and so that you can make a, the correct decision when purchasing a dog blower for yourself. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, I've been grooming my Samoids with a hairdryer so far, which means using a high velocity blower is gonna be a very different experience in many ways. Now, the equipment I'm using is obviously gonna look different, it's gonna smell different, it's gonna definitely sound a lot different, and the sensation is gonna be very different when they're being dried off as well. And so all of these things have the potential to make the dogs feel very uncomfortable and anxious. And as you've seen in previous videos, they're really perfectly comfortable being groomed right now. So I definitely don't want them to suddenly find grooming a scary thing because I'm using some kind of new equipment on them. So this means that the very first thing that I need to do is to desensitize them around this new object. Now, if you just took it out of the box and started grooming them with it right away, hoping that they're just gonna be cool with it, you'd be taking a huge risk because they might freak out and get really anxious when you switch it on and start blasting them with air. So you'll be much better off just taking it slow and letting them adjust in their own time. So after I unpack the blower, I'm going to take it and just sit it out on the deck and that way they can look at it, sniff it and just spend as much time as they want around it. And I'm going to leave it there basically until they're totally bored of it and you can see when they're sitting and relaxing without paying attention to it or even sleeping nearby, they obviously aren't concerned anymore. So the next step is to set up the grooming table and plug the blower into the socket and this is actually the exact position I'll have everything in when I actually do start using it on them for real. You might notice that I've put the actual motor unit on the ground and that's because it's very loud. So I want it to be as far away as possible and the hose is definitely long enough so doing that is no problem at all. Now a little while later once they've gotten used to that, I'll turn the blower on to its lowest setting so they can hear the sound of the motor and the sound of the air as it comes out of the nozzle. This is the point where they're most likely to get freaked out because the sound it makes is so different. The model I got is apparently a quieter model compared to others, but even so, it's quite noisy and sounds really strange compared to the hairdryer that they're used to now. Next, I'm going to start moving the nozzle around so they can hear the sounds that it makes when the air blows over the table or on the wall or on my hand. I want them to get really familiar with all aspects, including the sounds, before I ever start actually using it on them. After that I'm going to take them and put them onto the grooming table and turn the blower on and initially I'm not even going to really use the blower on Simba at all and then you can see I'm just very lightly pointing or directing some of the air towards him so it just kind of skims across the surface. Really really light contact initially. I'm holding the nozzle quite far away at first and this is so he can hear and feel what it's like when the air is being directed at him, not just when it's being used in his general area. So he's handling it pretty well, but he's definitely not as relaxed as when I use the hairdryer. So I'm glad I'm taking the time to go through these steps with him here. After a while though, he does settle down and he's ready to get dried off after an actual bath. Now, if you're doing this with your own dog, I want you to keep in mind that you want to work towards the comfort level of your own dog. Don't try to rush this. If Simba or Bear looked uncomfortable at any point, I would stop progressing to the next step and just repeat the same step, maybe even for a few days over and over, just until they get comfortable with whichever aspect is kind of making them feel anxious. Let's take a minute to talk a little bit about this blower that I bought. There are a ton of different models and types that you can get from anywhere from under $100 to models that cost over $500. So quite a big variation in what you can buy. And I actually would not recommend recommend buying the model which I used in this video for one reason and that is the speed settings. Basically there are three settings on this model that I got. It's got a low power, a high power and an off setting. And because of the speed settings that they have or that they don't have, it created a couple of big problems and I'll tell you why. 
firstly, when you're using the blower on the dog for the first time, even on the low setting, it's still really loud and the air coming out of it is quite strong compared to the hairdryer. And when you want to eventually increase the power and flick it over onto high, the noise is even louder again. I didn't like this because there's no middle ground when it comes to the power settings. And the other problem that this caused is that both Simba and Bear just could not handle using the blower around their face and their ears, even on the lowest setting, which meant that I actually had to get the hair dry out to finish the job off anyway. And when the whole point of this exercise was to make the grooming easier, that was really, really annoying. So. If you are going to go out and buy a dog blower, make sure that you get one with a stepless speed adjustment. Basically they have a speed dial rather than a switch so that you can set the speed really low and increase the power to the exact level that you want rather than just a two speed switch which is just not enough choice. Now I'll post the links to the blowers which I would recommend in the description but in the meantime let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments and if you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for the very best Samoid content.